filmmaker, Pin Lives Life and Culture Reporter. I am here in Avalon with Eric Wolf, who's part of the Avalon Beach Patrol. And we're going to be talking about how to be safe at the beach because we know that Ocean City, Maryland, just recently had about 200 saves because of rip tides. So we're going to talk to Eric a little bit about that. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and I'll ask him. And now I'm just going to turn it away to you. So uh, let's talk rip tides first of all. How can you spot one? Uh, rip currents are generally easier to spot if they're elevated off the water. That's where lifeguards are up off the ocean on their stance. But um, if you're in the ocean, unfortunately, sometimes you don't really see a rip current until you're actually on one, which makes them dangerous. Now, Eric, can I get you to get your hat off by any chance? Because you're all shade. Uh, yeah, you know what? Can I, can I yeah. tilt it back a little tilt bit? Tilt it back. Okay. Let's, there we go. Now I can better. see your and face. I'll tilt this one. Sorry, I just realized I couldn't there see you. you. Um, so, what makes it, what is a riptide? Uh, rip current's a powerful alley of water, narrow pocket of water that will take a swimmer and pull them out away from the shore. So what do you, should you do if you're stuck in one? If you're stuck in a rip current, the very best thing you can possibly do would be to swim parallel to the ocean because rip currents are very powerful, but they generally aren't very wide. So if you swim parallel to the shoreline, you can go ahead and escape a rip current. If that's not an option or you don't feel like you're a strong swimmer, just simply let the rip current carry you out. Try to get the lifeguard's attention by waving your arms and they will be out there as quick as they possibly can be. Have you guys been seeing a lot more rip currents? With the storm, uh, with Hurricane Chris recently, yes, we have noticed an uptick in currents and particularly powerful ones. Um, our restrictions on bathing will comport to the ocean conditions and they can change certainly hour to hour and day to day. So how can people keep up to date and you know specifically with Avalon beaches about what where they should be swimming where they shouldn't be? We have an Instagram page certainly you can check on that we um, we post daily conditions also before you enter the surf just simply talk to the lifeguard ask them uh, what the conditions are like on that day and uh, they will certainly be able to tell you the information uh, up the time on the stand. Now you were saying earlier that you know obviously with the tropical storm there's been a bit more rip currents than you would normally expect. What are like how what are great conditions for rip currents? So it's tropical storms or? Sure anytime you have a storm out in the ocean it's going to turn things up. There's high risk rip currents uh, during any type of tropical storm or hurricane. Also uh, sandbars, jetties, and uh, piers, any type of permanent structure could create a, a permanent rip current along the side of those structures because when the ocean comes in, when the waves come in, uh, that displaced water needs to go funnel itself back out. So certainly those uh, areas will be more prone to rip currents. And um, again, the ocean's constantly changing. So that's why uh, we're on top of it and our lifeguards are on top of it. And we're constantly uh, being vigilant about where these currents are forming. What about some other beach safety tips on how people can have a good, safe summer vacation here? Sure, the, the two things that I always tell people, um, number one, please swim in front of a lifeguard. Uh, these are highly trained professionals. They're there to help you and your family enjoy the ocean and stay safe. So please always swim in front of a lifeguard stand, regardless of whether you're in Avalon or in another short town. Uh, and secondly, uh, our lifeguards are on duty at 10 a.m. and they work until 5 p.m. every day. Please uh, do not go into the ocean before or after the lifeguards get on duty for the day. Uh, that can be a recipe for a disaster. So you see, I'm sure you see a lot of people obviously having issues with currents. What are some other issues that people have in the water? Currents are certainly uh, a high priority for us. That's what we monitor. Um, certainly also we want to keep people in a safe area. We have a proactive approach here where we would like to keep people out of harm's way. We want to keep their family safe while they enjoy the ocean. And uh, currents are a big part of that, but there's all kinds of conditions out there. Um, extreme high and low tides when you get full moons, uh, storm activity. There's a lot of different things that we monitor. Right, and how has it been when it comes to saving people this year so far? It's been a busier year than normal or kind of the same? I would say it's it's about on average, we're, we're about on par. Um, we're very fortunate here in Avalon. We get great support uh, from our mayor, Marty Kalugi, our business administrator, Scott Wall. We have all the equipment that we need. Um, the beaches are fully staffed. There's highly trained lifeguards on each one of our protected beaches. Um, and uh, I, it's, it's been a good summer so far. The public's been great and uh, we've been able to keep everybody safe and we want to continue that. And I just want to go back to rip currents. Uh, Ridley, you mentioned that before when we were talking that you can see them from above. What do they look like from above? Uh, it just depends on, on what kind of, uh, on the location of the current. Sometimes you'll notice the water will look a little bit discolored. That'll be the water rushing out. Um, again, the best place to identify a rip current is where the lifeguards sit, which is uh, elevated uh, approximately 10 feet off the surface of the water that gives them a much better overview of the water as far as where these currents are. So that's an elevated point would be the best place to identify a rip current. 
it definitely strikes me that you know you're talking about how rip currents are more likely to happen during tropical storms but that's also the best time to go out and try surfing or boogie boarding and things like that so how do you kind of manage that like love of surf but also being safe oh, absolutely we want people to come down and we want their families to come down and enjoy uh, the beautiful ocean that we have here in the Atlantic uh, shore but at the same time we want people to do that safely so um, we have multiple surfing beaches here in Avalon we have a paddle boarding beach uh, that the public can use and these beaches are uh, manned by uh, highly trained lifeguards and they're keeping an eye out for you and your family all right, any, uh, any parting words on safety, beach tips, anything like that? Please uh, swim in front of a lifeguard and only swim when the lifeguards are on duty. Uh, if your viewing audience gets nothing else out of this interview, please remember those two things. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate Julia, it. thank you very much. All right, bye, guys.